Hello everyone! I have been craving for some delicious freshly made bread and today I'd like to share my super quick and easy no kneading bread recipe with you. I'm sure that many of you also adore the taste of freshly baked bread but prefer a simple and fast method that still results in a wonderfully crunchy exterior and soft fluffy interior. Well, I'm a huge fan of a bread so if there's a way to create top-notch homemade bread with minimal effort, I'm all for it. This recipe is my absolute favorite and I'm confident it will become yours too. Let's get started. In a mixing bowl, add 3 cups of either bread flour or all-purpose flour, quarter teaspoon yeast, 1 teaspoon salt. Give a good mix, combine all three ingredients together first. Then we'll add one and a half cups of warm water and make sure the temperature of warm water is below 130 Fahrenheit. Otherwise, if the water temperature too high, it will kill the yeast. The dough won't rise properly. Combine water and dry ingredients together really well. This is going to be very sticky and shaggy dough. By the way, you may also use a whole wheat flour to make this bread. I have tried before and came out perfectly. After well combined, looking like this, then we're gonna cover, let it rise till double in size. Since the weather is so warm, I only needed two hours to rise the dough. The dough is ready after two hours. It's a very shaggy dough, so make sure dust enough flour on working surface. We're going to transfer dough onto working surface. This dough is so soft and sticky, it's so easy to transfer onto the working surface. And also use some dry flour to um, scrape off the remaining dough in the mixing bowl. After transfer dough on working surface, using dough scraper, kind of fold over a few times from around edge to center, kind of shape the dough. You can always lightly sprinkle some dry flour if uh, dough become too sticky during the process. After folding the dough a few times and I flip the dough over and reshaping them again into semi-round shape. And now I'm going to flip over the dough one more time, pinch the edge of the dough into the center, kind of try to pinch them all together. Then flip over one more time, make sure the smooth surface is on top. And that's it, that's all the work to it. We're going to transfer this dough into a bowl with a parchment paper lined in so the dough sits on top of a parchment paper and cover the dough up, let it rise for another 30 minutes. While dough is rising, let's preheat oven to 450 Fahrenheit with Dutch oven pot inside of the oven to preheat together. 30 minutes later, Dutch oven is ready. Be very careful, make sure to wear your gloves. And we're going to transfer the dough, including parchment paper, drop inside of a Dutch oven. And then using sharp knife or razor blade to score the top. You can get as artistic as you like when you score the top. Or like myself, just kind of a slash one line on surface of the dough. Then cover with the lid, send into oven. Let's bake for 30 minutes. I also like to spray some water into the oven to create more steam, but this is optional. After 30 minutes, remove the lid and we're going to also remove parchment paper. Look at the bread, it's almost done. Bring pot back into oven, continuing bake for additional 10 minutes without lid. Just take a look at this freshly baked bread. The smell is sensational here. Don't forget to wear Dutch oven gloves as you remove the bread out of oven. It is super hot. Isn't this the easiest and the quickest bread recipe ever? It is incredibly simple and stress-free, especially if it's your first time making bread. Just keep in mind these two important tips. Firstly, ensure that the warm water is below 130 Fahrenheit to activate the yeast and allow the dough to rise properly. Secondly, make sure to use the heavy Dutch oven with a lid that can withstand high heat. Apart from that, it's a smooth sailing and a breeze to make. And there you have it, 
a simple yet incredibly satisfying no kneading bread recipe. Homemade bread always tastes better when it's freshly out of the oven. And I hope you'll really give it a try and enjoy this delightful combination of a crunchy crust and soft fluffy interior. I'm going to enjoy with olive oil and aged balsamic vinegar. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you like this recipe and give it a try. And don't forget to subscribe, like and leave me a comment. Until next time, happy baking friends.